What up, and it's John Strabo, IBS Kelso, coming back with another Track Day R video. And today we're gonna be testing out the Supermotos. Just gonna hop on the 250 for now. I don't know how much power these things have and what's the difference in Supermotos. It's gonna be my first actual testing. And I um, also wanna say I did figure out on how to turn down your game volume. So if you guys are having trouble and you're just starting the game, I just go ahead and hit that Windows key in G. And then you just go to your game bar mixer or your Xbox game bar mixer and it'll show track they are currently running 6% for volume. It actually helps out a lot because the game is loud. Um, with that also being said, I am rocking a Supermoto dirt bike helmet. Same gear. Uh, we're going to go to Moesia Supermoto. I don't know if this is an IRL track or not, but uh, yeah, let's hop into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, before we officially get into riding, I just want to say make sure to go head over to www.ibskelso.com and go check out my merch. Uh, it is live. I would greatly appreciate it. Link is down in the description below. All right, and we are off. I don't know if 250 is too slow or it's going to be the right amount of power for some of these tracks. Um, but yeah, we're going to ride into it. Now, I know you can do like a knee bar drag swag, but I don't know if they have that in this game. If that's a thing or not. Looks like he kind of just puts the foot down. So I wonder if they have those physics in here for the same thing as GP. I would love if they could just add those physics. I don't think you can. I don't think you can drag swag with this. We're just going to take it nice and slow as a hot as a sight lap, kind of warm up the tires, if that's even a thing in this game, to actually make sure they're viable. Try to take some corners. I feel like I know I need to for sure work on my cornering in this game. I know it's not the best, um, but we're going to get there with all the physics. We're coming up on 10 hours on this game as well, just from me testing, uh, trying out these bikes and stuff. So maybe come up with a, everything, I, everything you need to know within 10 hours of starting the game or something like that. Oh! Or like this is like what I've learned in 10 hours. Oh, nice. Yeah, track's feeling great. Bike's feeling good. It feels very luggish though. I will say I probably need to stay in a lower gear longer. Like first gear or so. Oh, is this rollers? Oh, nice. Well, up and over table. Wonder if we can fully clear that for next time. Oh, and you can fully rail this. I know you can fully rail that. Big table, big table sin, and then I think we're right back on the start straight. So it looks like we were lugging a lot in the first freaking uh, lap. We're definitely gonna wanna kinda pick that up for the next lap. Just try to stay in higher RPMs. So maybe second gear before we go all the way with the fourth. Nice and tight. Back down to second. So second gear is gonna be our best friend around here. I'd probably go even tighter than that. Now we're starting to get pick up some good speed. I don't know like how good the multiplayer is on this game, or even if it's like very viable. I was looking in the Track Day R Discord, and they were actually hosting a uh, motocross series that just ended. So I wonder if there's going to be anything else where it's like only motocross. Maybe they have GP series. I'd love to get into that. Maybe dabble in some super moto. I just wonder if like everything's viable for actually riding with other players and how many people you can actually hold inside of a lobby. I think that's also something I might have to look into. But man, it feels great. I would love to like battle it out into a little bit of supermoto life. Oh no, a little bit off the track. Okay, in full rail here, right? Yeah, I need to do that for this next one. Full table, stay to the outside. Nice. Scrub it. Oh, that didn't look too bad. We're filling it. Nice and tight, down the start straight. So currently, I want to see what my best lap is so far. It says a, a 128 is my best lap. So we're down five. We're down five seconds right now. That was actually really good. See how far we can actually go. We did make a little bit of mistakes. Let's go wide. Oh, what? No way, dude. I thought that was a really good corner. I thought I turned really good on that corner, dude. I thought I like set myself up perfectly to have a really good drag swag, but obviously, apparently, you can't turn the bike... Pick the bike up. Can't turn that bike over that much. But I felt I felt like I was moving, pushing P on there. Man, dude, this thing starts in gearing so bad. Like the RPM sucks trying to start these bikes out. Like the gearing is like so high. That is so weird. You would think that it will at least get a little bit of power. Like I'm full rev down. Like even now. I'm in the yellow and the and it's bogging. Like I was even in the yellow and it was bogging. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look into that. I'm gonna have to like test some stuff out for that. Yeah, 
There we go. Nice and tight on this corner. Kind of go wide. That's okay with me. Kind of go wide. Is a. Uh... Oh, it wasn't a tabletop. There we go. All right. We can go real wide here. Oh, I could have railed higher. It's just like once when you start turning, the physics like aren't. It's not. I, I don't know how to explain it. Like this game's not really like. This game's not really big on like staying like connected in something like i know there's no rut there and that doesn't make any sense but even when you're doing dirt bike motocross game doesn't really have a sense of you sticking in a rut like that's not like that's not like a big like i guess like problem in this game or like a big like thing they harp on like you're it's so easy for you to not connect like it doesn't matter if you're if you're in that rut or not like it's not gonna make it make or break whether you're slowing down or you're or you're railing or connecting more speed it's just i don't know some, something that I'm, I'm very curious to where like I wonder if that's gonna be fixed in early later patches to where it's like it's more harped on it's more worked on better physics on it because sometimes the turning just feels as if like it just wants you to turn the bike it doesn't really matter if you go up high or not I don't know I don't know if I'm if I'm if you guys are tracking what I'm putting down like it's not it's not a bad thing but it's not a good thing you know it's just kind of like a mutual mutual situation Like, I'm trying to rail that full corner, but it keeps, like, turning me down even more to where if, like, I actually was to turn down that much, I, it, it'd be a bad problem for me, but at least I feel like it would, but... Go. Nice. For the table, like, see if we can actually stay up on here. Yeah, see, I'm trying to ride higher, but like trying to go uh, like hit the hit that I guess sweet spot is weird. It's hard to even find the sweet spot. Okay, that wasn't bad. Okay, maybe maybe I just maybe I'm just skill issue. I'm literally only ten al almost ten hours into the video. Maybe it's just, I mean ten hours into the game. Maybe it's just literally skill issue, and that was just a hoax. But I do like the supermoto. I think I think realistically we need more supermoto tracks. I think there's only three out. I would love to see more variety or like a mixture of like more twisty turnies stuff you know like that maybe a little bit off-road on road that'd be sick but i, I want to see how these would like someone else that like rides these like a lot in the game i would love to see how i like match up against them like if, if i'm taking the right corners right taking the right turn staying in the right gear but engine braking is a huge thing in this game i know that much engine braking will be your best friend that is how you're getting every corner everything like right here, dropping it back down the first and then speeding through. That's kind of like meta. I think that's meta for sure in this game. It's just literally taking yourself back down the first gear. They hit these nice tight corners. Seems like the bike wants to cooperate more in a lower gear. Like it, it wants to turn more in a lower gear. That felt better. Okay, so you really just got to understand the physics of the game. I'm, I'm the best thing I'm trying to do is compare this game to MX bikes, and the game's not MX bikes. It's track they are. You know what I mean? It's track they are, and it's a re here's the reason why it's track they are, not MX bikes. You know? Because none of this is not deterring me. None of it's a deterring me for want to continue to playing. It's just something I have to adjust to, and it's just something I'm not used to. But you know, like that's the that's the cool thing about the game being unique and its own value to the game. Yeah, definitely going back down the first gear is going to be your best friend. I'm just hitting every corner way better. That feels good. All right, now we're starting to pick up some real good pace. We did beat our... Uh, oh, we did beat our time, which was a 128. We're at a 127. We definitely freaking ruined that uh, corner right there. Nice, dude. We're cooking. It's always at the end of the video where we really start like getting into our mode. But once again, like I said, this is this isn't my first impressions of trying to ride Supermoto in this game. So, nice, nice. 
Let me know if you guys are enjoying this Supermoto life. Let me know like down in the comment section what you guys have enjoyed the most that I've written, whether it be motocross, uh, the, the GP bikes for just starting out with the Supermoto. Um, and let me know what you guys have been dabbling into if you guys are really enjoying this game. I want to know where like where the community's at. Where it's like where it's like a maybe a 70 30 split of 60 40 you know what i mean like to where people just only like the motocross or the gp um here's also flat track in here just let me know i would love to know that way i can see like what we could do as a community for later down the road but supermoto's feeling great especially once when you start really understanding what you need to do with the bike but i'm starting to keep higher rpms the whole time every time i go back down the first gear in these corners I wonder if there's a speed boost of like sitting down. Oh, a little off the course. A little off the course. We're in the 125s range right now. Nice, nice. I'm kind of like focused up right now, trying to hit like a better lap than what I can now. Oh no! That's another thing. Coming out of the corners, if you don't have the bike completely stood up, it's the turning feels completely weird. Oh, can I make it? Can I make it? Can I make it? Ah, one more lap, one more lap. I was so close to beating that lap. So close to beating that lap. Dude, we're cooking. Nice, full speed, full speed. Nice, dude, I love it, dude. I'm really vibing with it. I'm really vibing with the Supermoto life, especially once we start to get used to it. <sighs> I went down too low, dude. Man, I was actually pushing. I think we could have beat that, but so far I've hit a 125. Let me know what you guys get. I think a 124, 123 is in them books. Um, let me know, man. Uh, hit that like button, subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching. And um, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Your boy, IBS Kelso. Pa-pa. Pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pee.